Okay, one incredible feature that we want to show you that Planning Center Online has to offer, so PCO, is what they call the Matrix. The Matrix is a very effective tool when utilized correctly. And as you can see on my screen, I only have two services pulled up here, but you can really put as many future plans in place and as many previous plans in place so that you can see, A, who have you had scheduled over the past few weekends so you're not scheduling the same person too much. You can see how many songs have we done or what songs have we done so that you can schedule songs in the future, special elements and so forth. And it's also a really quick way to build your PCO flows because you can literally click and drag. It's a very easy and simple uh, system here. So I'm gonna show you here. I've already added our next day on January 16th. And as you can see, our church does a 9 a.m. Uh, prayer time or prayer service, I should say, that includes worship, teaching, and so forth, volunteers, and all that. And so that's what we've been building here in the previous videos. We have that 9 a.m. service on Tuesday. We have a five o'clock rehearsal the Monday night before. And then of course, Tuesday's call times are at 7 a.m. And so that we would, uh, you can't click and drag times. What you can do is you can just go to arrow and you can hit add time and you can actually bring that over into there and it'll show that. And everywhere else you can actually click and drag. So I know that's a pretty defined uh, service. Pastor really wants to fill and flow this way. So it's as simple as this. Click and drag pre-service, countdown. And what you're doing is you're not having to go back and hit H for header, I for item, S for song, M for media, or anything like that. It is just a simple click and drag process. And we're gonna build this out. Now Battle Belongs is gonna change. Good Grace is gonna change because we don't wanna do two, two of the same songs back and forth. But what's not changing is pastor's desire, creative pastor's desire, whoever's desire that we stay like in this um, flow, this example of what we want the service to look like for maybe the next six weeks. And so I'm gonna go ahead and build out in Matrix the next six weeks out of what the flow should look and feel like. Worship before message, Good Grace, um, message again here, bumper video, message, gospel. All I'm doing is clicking and dragging over headers and items. Response time, nothing else. I forgot that response time. That's an item. What a beautiful name. Generosity, generosity comments, dismissal, and closing thoughts. Now, I just built a planning center for the next week in 15, 20 seconds. One thing you have to do once you click and drag is the obvious, which is go back. You just wanna make sure that these are the right songs. So you'll type in the new song titles and all that, and your flow is built. Scheduling, in the previous videos we did, I did show you how to utilize teams and how to schedule teams. I didn't put names in, but we will put one name in for now. For the previous weekend, we will go here, we will type in Phil, we'll hit add one. Now Phil is here, so Phil, Let's say Phil is the audio engineer for the next three to four weeks. I want to be able to click and drag Phil over. So now it's a click and drag for your scheduling. You want to be able to do that because it's going to show you who you've utilized in the past and who you're going to utilize in the future. And it's a very effective scheduling tool for when it comes to that. I know a lot of churches that really don't even spend time on the flow side of things, but spend a lot of time on the matrix when it comes to scheduling volunteers. Okay, so after we've done the clicking and dragging for the flow here, that is one way to do it. I would like to show you another way though, because some of us have templates. And so you can go here to this arrow, you see I've added January 23rd. You can go here and you can say import template. And you can go to your templates up here. If you have previous built temp templates, you can select here. But for now, I just wanna drag over the whole plan at one time from January 16th I'm gonna go ahead and put in Teams as well so that we can do scheduling here in a minute, and I'm gonna hit Submit. This will begin to dump everything over. Uh, it'll, again, it's just another way to save time and to avoid clicking and dragging if that's not what you want to do. And you can see here that it has brought over what I had previously scheduled from the 16th, which was just the A1 position there. And so, but I do want you to see that if I had Phil brought over into here, it would have automatically put Phil into that new uh, scheduling uh, for the new template that I dropped in for January 23rd. Now, some of us, some of our churches, I know that we have, you know, we want the drummer and bass player to be together for to make sure that 
that back line is tight. I know that we, some churches, I know that some lighting operators work differently or maybe better with some audio engineers and some, you know, experienced directors or show callers or those that are moving along the service. Uh, I know they like to have a certain team. And so if you have the idea that you want to build team one, team two, team three, team A, team B, or whatever, you can actually build that template as well. And when you hit load template, it will load over those positions with already those names scheduled like a fill. So if I was to do that and fill was actually selected on the January 2016th plan and I were to hit load the January 16th template in there as well or the January 16th plan, it would have automatically brought over fill into scheduling. So that's another quick way that you can do that if you want to dump it all in at one time by utilizing templates. Another thing too, don't forget down in plan notes, it will automatically add the previous weeks in plan notes. So you can see plan notes, you can edit here, um, I put in this one message notes because some people like to see message scripts, you know, for anybody that's maybe running confidence monitors or DSMs or teleprompters for your pastor or for your communicators. They can go ahead and read all those notes in advance, his scripts, all that. It's just another thing to do. But when you are uh, loading previous templates um, in Matrix, you have to make sure that you update everything from that pre previous plan or that previous template. If you have someone, maybe your music director, maybe your production director, uh, maybe a volunteer takes over scheduling for you, maybe someone that is a volunteer coordinating position that has holding the responsibility of scheduling volunteers, I would highly encourage you to get them on this matrix um, system so that it'll make their lives a lot easier, more effective, simpler process, and it'll really change the game for how they schedule. I would encourage you to begin to use the matrix if you do not already.